original training started with medical school and MD-PhD program at Loyola University in Chicago. The uh, scan and plan process for an open case is to actually do the midline incision and open first and then uh, mount fiducials, which is actually quite small and it isn't very cumbersome to uh, perform your digital CT scan and then do your programming for scoop, uh, screw placement. I had an interesting case come to the emergency room, 32-year-old female with a really large uh, left upper lobe lung lesion against the back wall of her thorax. It eroded two of her tubal bodies, uh, T4 and T5, were completely disintegrated. And the, the common practice to use AP and lateral x-rays for placement of screws is actually quite difficult due to the shoulders and the rib cage and obstructions for view for planning for your uh, placement. Uh, the real benefit to being able to use a scan and plan type system is that you have digital CT scan that you can plan all of your trajectories and entry points with. Uh, this can be done both open or closed. In this particular case, because of such a long segment and requirement of decompression of spinal cord and tumor resection, this case was done open. However, some of the screws were placed percutaneously to reduce the amount of muscle tissue that was mobilized, particularly at the ends of the incision. Uh, in, in other uh, ways of using uh, Renaissance, typically there will be a preoperative CT scan and planning performed ahead of time. But while that uh, reduces the amount of time that you have to use in the operating room, uh, with a case like this, it, it is probably much more practical to do scan and plan in the operating room during your case. It allows you to be able to obtain the information you want for the, the digital anatomy of the vertebrae in the position that it's going to be in on the table when you fuse it. Uh, I think the most useful application of scan and plan is for large thoracic or lumbar trauma cases. Uh, you don't have time frequently to do preoperative imaging studies, uh, or if you're talking about malignancy, particularly in thoracic spine, due to the imaging uh, difficulties related to rib cage, bowel gas, lung gas, shoulders, clavicle. It's extremely difficult to, to identify the anatomy you need for target for placement of instrumentation. So using 3D imaging with scan and plan really allows you to be able to plan your trajectories, entry points, and depths of screws without causing soft tissue injury or organ injury. Uh, Renaissance overall has changed my practice in that I do more complicated spine cases than I otherwise would have. I am I'm more aggressive and feel much more comfortable with the safeguards of using Renaissance and scan and plan knowing that my screw placements, particularly for thoracic screws, are going to be much more accurate. There's also an added advantage that when we do closed cases, rather than doing large midline incisions, particularly on lumbar spine, uh, the recovery time is better, the post-operative pain is better, and overall I think the results are better. The mainstay of fusion in the past has always been thought to be posterior lateral arthrodesis and bone growth, when in fact what we're finding is that placement of the instrumentation and getting good inner body growth is, is really adequate. We've had long-term good results using minimally invasive techniques and the Renaissance robot makes that much more likely and successful.